we're on our first day of uh, Adventure 8 tours and it's all great with Adventure 8. We have an amazing uh, breakfast this morning. We've set that here um, here in, uh, where, are sure. where are we? We're in Cape Tribulation. Cape Tribulation. And we're that going is. to go around the Great Barrier Reef Port today. Douglas. That's Port one. Douglas. Port Douglas, yes. Did I say Cape Tribulation? I meant Port Douglas. <laughs> anyway, bye. See you later. Bye. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bye. The Germans are so um, so confident they seem to um, want to go on the water most of all and they're the ones who get eaten most so now they've started right producing the signs in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> I got caught a bit short. The um, anyway, I feel much better now. <laughs> Guys, look, the turkeys are fighting. Oh my god! Oh, they're fighting. They're fighting. 
So here we are, we're at South Alice Creek. Uh, the temperature is a comfortable 35 and uh, we've just taken the telegraph route uh, from uh, Port Douglas up through to Cape York. And we're here right now next to the, one of the telegraph poles. They were originally, I believe they were originally made out of uh, timber, but uh, termites ate them out and uh, they were replaced later by steel and uh, and a lot of them uh, are now falling over. There's an underground cable, uh, replace it, but it's still an exciting full drive trek through the outback. Uh, the unexpected always happens and we're with our friends uh, Bruce and Debbie in their Ford Ranger and we've just heard over the radio that their steering um, coupling in the fronts whatever has all packed up and they are stranded. But, uh, two things have gone wrong for Bruce and Debbie. Uh, they have a puncture in the camper trailer tyre and we have found out the problem is with the torsion bar. The last repair, however the repair was done, they had left uh, some nuts off and that has bent one mount and the other mount is just hanging on. You can see that... So the, the torsion bar is, mount has broken here. The bolt is still not near enough to see that oh, the, the nuts there, missing. there's no nut. The nut's missing. Oh my yes. god, they've left the nuts off it. Uh, you can still drive without a torsion bar. Yeah. Okay. So one option is to actually disconnect the torsion bar and uh -huh. then continue to actually drive normally and that way you'll get rid of the clunking right and um, and you can continue to drive good so why have a torsion bar if we can just disconnect it, it gives you f better balance uh, the torsion bar in four wheel drive operations uh, is a pain in the neck right well it's just proven itself pain in the neck <laughs> Okay, we've managed to find some bolts. Bruce found some bolts. What's the story behind the bolts? Oh, fortunately there was a roofer at uh, Bramwell Station who did the right thing by a long way. Offered us half a dozen bolts to get going. So what we've done, we managed to use the jack here to actually bend back the bracket. Uh, we found an extra bolt and we attached the other bolts and we're going to have to do the other side as well. Well, we're in the creek here, and um, there's an exit there, but it hasn't been used for a while. That's why oh, the entry's too steep as well. We just sort of go in there, nose dive. You say it up. Just do it. Take it slowly there, slowly! That's it, give me a go! Right, uh, this uh, Toyota comes with a Ranger recovery point. So what's a Ranger recovery point? A Ford Ranger and we're recovering a Ford Ranger uh, on this track. Um, no doubt Bruce could get up here but we just don't want to wreck the track any further so it's better off just pulling it up.
Because the water levels are much lower than in the past and we have found this wonderful spot. It's very scenic around us. Uh, we're trying to avoid the crocodiles as much as possible. We believe they are somewhere around here. Um, middle of the day, we should be okay. We've sent the kids out to uh, check out the waters for us. They've come back, so I guess we're, we're okay. Bit small? So 11 years ago, um, I'm sure it wasn't as steep as this, but we did actually get up. This. You could probably see where the original one, where the original line was when they cut it. Where did it come from? Through here. Through the mud. Okay, we have the gunshot damage. A yeah, bent you bar. Of course this is going to end up on YouTube. Oh, that's but he made it. Okay. G'day, my name's Rick Hallchurch. I'm from Nambour in Sunshine Coast. Um, got ourselves a Patriot Super Tourer, all the little bits and pieces all over it. Got the long range tank, got the, um, the extra canopy on the back with the little dog box on the back for a big storage. Um, extra battery in the, on the other side, fridge slide on this side. Um, extra batteries underneath the bonnet, center console, overhead console. In the tray, there's a 70 litre water tank as well, front and rear winches. There's a, a quite a lot on there. So. And you've extended it? Yeah, yeah, 300 mil extension in the chassis, three inch lift, um, your 33 inch tyres. So besides the standard purchase of the vehicle, mm -hmm. what was the extra? Oh, um, total. Oh, for, total. Um, most probably on top of what the base rate is at Patriot, about 30. That's pretty good. Over the top, yeah. With all the accessories, With all and accessories yeah. By the time you finish getting mod plates, and there's quite a, quite a bit involved with mod modification plates and yeah. getting everything done that way. So nice work. Yeah, excellent. All right. Well, good luck with your trip. Thank see you very you much. Up north, I yeah, guess. Yeah, somewhere. for sure. For all right. Sure. Fantastic. Thank okay. You. See ya. See ya. Great.
Okay, the map says that this crossing is very, very, very deep. So actually I've prepared, as you can see, uh, to tackle this, uh, walk through it and see what it's like. <laughs> going down, going down. Okay. Recently secure base. <laughs> It's party time here. Right. This is a lot longer deeper. Better bottom. He's stuck. <laughs> He's not going anywhere. Do we need some ranger recovery device here? <laughs> <laughs> so Peter, what do you think? I think we need a ranger recovery device. <laughs> a tight, tight squeeze. We're at our last camp spot. Tomorrow we'll be going up to the tip. Somewhere up there. And we've got beautiful weather, about 27 degrees Celsius. Um, a lovely beach and campsite at Pond Sands uh, Bay campsite here. Uh, we've got a beach location looking out over the water. Absolutely fantastic. Um, swimming pool if you want to go for a swim, because not advised swimming here in the seawater cause of crocodile.